The sorts of companies that I think um, could come and invest in Melbourne range from very small companies that are looking to do innovative things. Melbourne um, and Victorian state government has a tra long track record of supporting small innovative companies. Equally, on the other end of the spectrum, they're very supportive of multinationals, as evidenced by Acrotel Lucent and, and IBM's investment that they've done with the University of Melbourne very recently. For companies that are afraid, afraid or worried about entering the Australian market because it's too far away, um, we really live in a global economy these days. Um, Australia offers a, a wonderful place to, to live um, and a great place to work. We've got a lot of multinational companies that have chosen Australia and Melbourne as their destination. Um, we have a fantastic lifestyle. Melbourne's consistently rated as one of the most livable cities of, in the world. Um, and um, it's not just the workplace environment that's so vibrant, it's also the things that sit alongside that. Um, the, the, the work and play are, are both important dynamics in that, I think. And we've certainly in Australia got an incredible amount of interest from a range of companies. Many of these you'll recognise um, uh, uh, well, Alcatel Lucent, Cisco's, Huawei's, um, Optus, one of our carriers, Ericsson, Microsoft. We also have a number of small um, uh, and very innovative Australian companies, ranging from Warren and Brown Technologies, a real success story of the Victorian government, who invested heavily in the company to help it um, uh, set up and has recently won a half a million dollar um, contract with the National Broadband Network company. It's interesting because, you know, different cities bring different things. They bring, they bring different clusters of, of expertise, of technology and, and culture and so on. I mean, I, again, I think the interesting from a UK perspective is, is in a way, the similarities in culture. Uh, so, uh, you know, from a UK perspective, uh, Melbourne's clearly a very interesting place.